Welcome back. Tonight, we are going to make something different. A pasta dish. Now, my wife is saying that's not different. She thinks we eat a lot of pasta. I'm saying we don't eat a lot of pasta. We're barely eating it once a day. So, to me, that's not a lot of pasta. <laughs> now, for her, more than a couple times a week is too much. I don't think you can ever eat too much. But tonight we're doing something really simple. And again, like a lot of our videos, this is it's time for dinner. I'm gonna cook something, so what the heck, let's film it. So tonight we're making spaghetti carbonara. Uh, spaghetti carbonara, simple recipe. There's a lot of variations in America. They have a lot of cream, they might have CPs and bacon, all these things. We're gonna do the traditional Roman uh, style, the style we get in Rome. So what's in spaghetti carbonara? Simple ingredients, spaghetti. Tonight I'm using a bucatini because I had some bucatini. So we got your spaghetti. Traditionally, you, you would use the guanciale. Again, the cured pork that comes from the jowls, the cheek of the pig. That's gross. You, it's not gross, it's delicious. My wife thinks just because it comes from the cheek somehow it's different if it comes from the butt. But anyway, uh, you can use pancetta or bacon, but we're gonna use the guanciale. Then it's just black pepper, pecorino romano cheese, an egg. Really simple recipe. So I'm doing a half a recipe here. So um, you can double these things. But right now I'm using eight ounces of the pasta. I'm using two ounces of the guanciale. I'm going to be using one egg and one egg yolk. And then uh, some cheese and pepper. I don't know if I have an exact measurement on those. But anyway, this is the way we're going to start. Oh, and the wine is for the chef. Always a little bit of wine for the chef. You know, that's not a wine glass. But. <laughs> she says that's not a wine glass. It's a candle holder. It turns out there's wine in it and there's glass. <laughs> so it's a wine glass. It's a candle holder. It's a wine glass. Okay. So. I bought it at Michael's in the candle shh. section. Now, who's the star? Mm -hmm. All right. Now tonight, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get this pan going on the medium heat. With the guanciale, we want to render that fat off and get it crispy, but we don't want to burn it. And uh, so we just want to cook it slowly on, on a kind of a medium, medium low heat. So I am going to cut this into thin strips. And then we're going to cook that in the pan. We don't need any olive oil in the pan because of the fat on the guanciale. You really don't need any extra fat in the pan to get it going. And once that guanciale cooks, which is going to take 10 to 15 minutes to, to render out the fat and to get it crispy, then we're going to put our water in the pasta, which I've already got a, a pan of water going for the pasta. And then once we get that going, we can put it all together. Again, I just put this into thin strips and then just cut it up a little bit. That's it for that because the the rendered fat from the guanciale is going to be part of what makes the sauce. All right. Can you see here? Oh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I fell asleep. Well, this is endangering me. You know, you could lose this job. Okay, wait. Right. So now we're just going to put that guanciale in there. And here it's sizzling away. And I need to find good help now. So we're just going to, we're going to let that cook 10 to 15 minutes. Look, it's nice and crispy, fat's rendered off, pasta water's boiling, getting ready for the pasta. So while that's cooking, uh, we'll be back in, like I say, about 10 minutes. All right, so that uh, guanciale has been cooking about 15 minutes at a nice slow pace. Uh, you saw in the video, you can see it's all rendered down, looks beautiful, crispy. Wait. Oh, sorry. Okay. 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 So, we're going to take that off the heat. And we're going to put our pasta in the water. Uh, again, I've got eight ounces. I'm doing half a recipe here because uh, it's just the two of us. And one of us says she's not eating pasta. No, you're going to make me an omelet. I'm going to make her an omelet, I guess. 
How could you eat an omelet when there's pasta carbonara? So anyway, I've got my, I've got my, uh, my uh, bucatini in the boiling water with salt. While that's cooking, again, that's going to probably take, um, you know, eight minutes or so. You don't want to cook it all the way because you're going to finish it in the pan. Now for this, because I'm doing half a recipe, I'm doing one egg and one egg yolk. This should be interesting because I don't think I'm real good at separating yolks, but let's see how I do. You know, I've seen different people do different things. Some people just put the whole egg in there. They don't even bother with this extra yolk thing and that. But we'll try and do one egg and one yolk. Oh, that's got to go here. I almost put it in the wrong one. Oh yeah, look at that. And then the dog will get a nice treat with the extra egg whites. We got to treat Lola nice. So we've got our egg. To that we're going to add, again we're doing half a recipe, so we're going to add about, say, and I'm trying to give measurements. Normally I wouldn't do this, I would just throw some in there. Um, we're going to put about a quarter cup of pecorino cheese in there. So I'm going to mix these eggs up. So with the carbonara, what you do is you cook the pasta, you cook the guanciale, you mix it all together, then you mix it with the egg. And the egg, that raw egg, coats the pasta, that makes part of the sauce. So we've got our eggs. I'm going to put about a quarter cup of uh, freshly grated pecorino romano. And again, normally I would not be measuring, but I'm going to put a good healthy teaspoon of black pepper. This is a good quality. This is from the Penzi Spice Store. So mm. it is, uh, it's good. It's like grinding your own. It's got such a great flavor and you buy good spices. So we're going to mix that egg and cheese and pepper together. And that is ready. So what we're going to do, we've got to let that pasta cook. Again, about eight minutes. Once that's done, we're going to throw it in the pan. And, well, I'm not going to tell you. We'll see in a few minutes. We'll be right back. All right, so our pasta is got about another minute to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this hot water from the pasta. I'm going to put it in the dish that we are going to be mixing our pasta in. All right, we want to get that dish warm. We're going to take this out before we do it, but we want to heat the dish up. Next, we're going to drain our pasta. Actually, what we're going to do, I'm going to get the, excuse me, kind of all over the place. We're going to start reheating our guanciale, get that warm. We're going to add our pasta right to that uh, pan with the guanciale. Bring this off. So we're just going to add this in to this pan. And what we're going to do here, we are coating that pasta in the rendered fat from the guanciale. There. So we only did half a pound. So, so we want to save some of this pasta water because uh, we might need this to add to the sauce to make it a little creamy. So we've got our pasta now heating up with our guanciale. Alright, I tried to get fancy, it didn't work. So we're going to let that go for about a minute or so. Eat that right now, just like that. There we go. As long as you want it. It's hard to do with long spaghetti. Right. So now, what we're going to do, and, and uh, spaghetti carbonara is something you want to eat uh, fresh. Like it's not. Not really, I guess, a good leftover meal. This is something you want to eat right after you make it. Right. 
So that pasta is nice, coated with the coated with the uh, sauce from the guacamole. So now we're going to take this, empty our hot water out. We're going to add our put our pasta with the guacamole right into there. Lola just got a piece. <laughs> now, we're going to add our cheese and egg mixture to that. Again, you would never add this to the pan because then you would end up with, uh, you'd end up with scrambled eggs. So now we're going to add this cheese mixture right into our hot pasta. Stir that around. Mm. And then if you think it needs it, which I actually don't, I don't know if this does, this needs just a drop of the pasta water. Oh wow, that looks fantastic. So now that is your traditional carbonara. Now we're going to plate up a little bit of that. Sauce from the bottom. Look at that. Okay. We're going to add just a touch more black pepper on the top. Top it with just a hair more pecorino. And there you have traditional spaghetti. This is actually bucatini, but bucatini or spaghetti carbonara. We're going to try a little bit of this. Mm. Ah, there she goes again. <laughs> it's delicious. I can't help it. That is so good. Mm. Look, the stuff with the cream and the peas and all that, it's good. But this is so simple and so delicious and so easy. Uh, you're going to love it. So try making it sometime. Your traditional spaghetti carbonara. Again, thanks for watching. This is a quick one. Quick dinner. Middle of the week. We said, what the heck, let's do it. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe and like. You know, we've gotten over uh, 110. We have 110 subscribers. We have over 1,000 likes on some of the videos. It's really cool. We're starting to get some feedback. It's a lot of fun. 1,000 views, not likes. 1,000 views, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, look, I'm not the technical guy. Oh, that, I goodness. leave that to someone else. Anyway, um, thank you for watching and subscribing and liking and all that stuff. Try the recipes. Give us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Good night, everyone. Until next time. Ciao.